search for a man named Jim Sonnet. And the legends folks tell may be true. Most call him gunman and killer. He's my son, who I hardly knew. I raised Jim's boy from the cradle. Till the day he said to me, I have to go find my father. And I reckoned that's how it should be. So we ride, Jim's boy and me. How's your steak, Grandpa? Tough. Mine's good and tender. <laughs> Must be your teeth. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with my teeth. They may be old, but they ain't as old as this cow was. <laughs> well, then, how far is it to Coryville? Coryville? 20 miles, maybe. Sure. Let's have three whiskeys. Here. We got time for some eats, Jack? No, no, just a few drinks. We'll push it on. That's all. I quit. The cow wins. <laughs> Get me some more coffee, will you, Jeff? Sure. You want to fill this up for me, please? I'm sorry, I... Why don't you watch what you're doing? Look, it was an accident. Yeah, well, so is this. Let's get out of here. Hold up a minute. It was a fair fight, mister. Now it's over. Leave it be. No, I ain't pressing the fight. I just like the way the boy handles himself. You two live around here? Just passing through. Drifters. I could use some more men. I'll pay a hundred dollars for a day's work. A hundred? We don't take to bank robbing, mister. <laughs> well, no bank robbing. You just have to help us take a man in the next town. All you have to do is cover us, make sure nobody interferes. Well, these three of you, that ought to be enough. No, not quite. Man we're going after is kind of special. Ever hear of Jim Sonnet? Soften that plunge up a little there. Jim, try this action now. No, oh, that's fine, Charlie. Just fine. What about your rifle? Want me to check it out? No, it's in good shape. Besides, so it's afternoon. I gotta be pushing on. Now, you don't have to hurry off, Jim. You can stay another night. I got plenty of room. Thanks, Charlie. But I seldom stay in the same town more than one day. So I've heard. Must be pretty hard in, Jim. It's hard, but safer. Yeah, I will have some more of that coffee, though. Sure. Everybody likes my coffee. My grandma taught me how to make it. Hold up. We'll rest them here a bit. Guess where are we headed, mister? Coryville. Should be about 10 miles up ahead. Are you sure Jim Sonnet's there? Oh, I'm sure. A friend of mine wired me last night that he saw Jim Sonnet ride into town, go visit an old gunsmith named McQuaid. McQuaid? He used to be an old army sergeant named McQuaid. What? Well, I was just thinking out loud. Well, you just think about that hundred dollars you're going to be spending tonight. Yeah, well, I've been thinking about that, too. That's a lot of money. You must hate this Sonnet real bad. Hate him? I don't hate him. I don't even know him. But I've been on his trail for more than six months. Why? Uh, a rich man in Kansas named Cogswell. He had a run-in with Jim Sonnet, ended up with a bullet in his leg. 
Cogswell can't ride anymore, so he hired me to even the score. And you hired us. That's right. Why, are you complaining? Complaining? Oh, no, siree. I'm grateful. That's what I am. Yes, sir. I'm downright grateful. Good. All right, let's move out. Hold it. What's wrong? Well, I figure you could use a longer rest, don't you, Jeff? Yep. Sure do. Old oh, man, I give the orders. When I say we move out, we... What is this? Well, it's where you start a long walk, mister. Now you unbuckle your gun belts, all of you. Look, I'm willing to talk if it's more money you're after. It ain't. You can keep your money. Now all of you dismount. Jeff, gather up their reins. Now we leave your horses right outside Coreyville. By the time you get there, we'll be long gone, all of us. Some, Charlie, but so have you. It's been a lot of years. It sure has, Will. <laughs> Mr. McQuaid, we, uh, we heard my Paul was here. This is James's boy, Jeff. Well, nice to know you, Jeff. Howdy. He was here about an hour ago. An hour? That ain't bad. It's as close as we've been before. And there's still plenty of light for tracking. Well, if anybody can track him, you sure can, Will. You left town heading west. Good. We're obliged to you, Charlie, and you can understand why we're resting on. Sure. Please. Sure. So long. So long. I bet she'd come this way all right. He'd have gone this way another mile, and then he'd figure this trail was cold, and then... And then cut up over them hills? No, no. Tire his horse too much climbing. I wish you there's a path ahead that leads back onto this road. Yeah, he's slow to a walk now. Now he stopped. We better, too. He headed up the hill, boy, to a ridge. If you'll be looking up, you see your pa. Ride to him, boy. He'd recognize me once I get close. Grandpa, you said you'd help me find him. And you did. And I thank you. But now he's found, and I'm going to him. Go on, boy. Give me a gun and go on.
Hello, James. Pa. In 20 years. I know. I know. And now, well, I just can't get over it. Both of you here. <laughs> We've been searching for you for two years, Paul. Everywhere. You're not sorry we came? Sorry. Boy, if you know how many times I've longed to see you and your grandpa. But I just, well, didn't figure it was right. Now, <laughs> I haven't felt this good in years. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Amen. So you keep on the run. Wouldn't you? Well, when I was younger, maybe. I'm a lot wiser now. You made a lot of mistakes, but none worse than what I made by not raising you proper. But you got my blood in you, boy. And your ma was all softness outside, and... and the rest is all backbone. I say you stop and you stand and you say I'm Jim Starnett and here I am. Come and get me if you want. But I don't die easy. And you might just die for the trying. And we ain't letting you go. But we're tired of riding. And so are you. Heaven or hell, all a man can seek is one or the other. I do for you. Mr. Sonnet. Glad you remember. Of course I remember. You did this town a great service. And Sonnet's hardly a name you forget. No, it ain't. Now I want you to meet the man who made it that way. This is my son, James. Jim Sonnet? How do you do, Mayor? How do you do? You remember my grandson here, Jeff? Yes, of course. Nice to see you. Well, this is quite a surprise. We come to make you a deal. Me as your town sheriff and James and Jeff here as my deputies. Jim Sonnet, the law, and Samson? Well, it's as wild a town as I know when them trail herds come through. Yes, that's true. Uh, well, this is quite a proposition. Well, don't take all day to think about it. Well, I'm interested, of course, but... Uh, well, the man we have now just isn't up to the job. Then give him another job. You got a rough town here with a lot of fine people who need protection. Now, we need a place to start a new life. So we'll guarantee that protection. Now, what is it? Yes or no? Only one word. Yes. Oh, but there's just one thing. Well, there are three of you, and we only have two badges. <laughs> well, I don't think that spoils the deal. Pin them on these two. I'll wait till you have a nice, new, shiny one for me. Jack. Jack, you found him. Found who? Jim Sonnets, right here in the paper. The town of Samson hired themselves a new law. Will Sonnets, a sheriff, his son James, and his grandson Jeff for his deputies. As for Jim Sonnet, he states he wants trouble from no man. Any man seeking trouble will be violating the law if he draws a gun within the town limits of Samson. This don't beat all. Where's your grandpa? <laughs> well, right about now, he should be grabbing about the restaurant owner about how bad the food was and. How high the price is. <laughs> you like him a lot, don't you? I love him. Yeah. Well, that's what I wanted. 
Me? Well, I hardly know him. It's still a little strange between us. Paul, when you were a kid, did you spend any time with him at all? Only when he came back to whatever fort we were in. And then he was gone again. Seemed like right away. <laughs> How was your food, Grandpa? Tasty, real tasty. Decent prices, too. <laughs> well, you don't have to take my word for it. You fellas yet yet? No, sir. Well, go along. I'll watch the town. Besides, I want to see that smithy. See when my badge is going to be ready. Come on, sir. a new law in this town. That's right. Jim Sonnet and his father and son. You any idea where we might find them now? Now? Well, it's just about noon. Uh, in the restaurant, maybe? Or the office. Thank you. I'll leave the horses here and walk back. Better rub them down good. They had a hard night. Yes, sir. Five to three. Pretty good odds. That's your opinion, Jack. I'm a bushwhacker, not a fast draw. You climb back on your horse and get. All right, we still got an edge. Look we'll count our steps. On step number five, we draw. Let's do it. Feel, son. A little sick. Oh. I wish I hadn't hit. Yeah. It's like that with me. Always. Well, do we stay? We gotta stay. Otherwise, three men died for naught. Day. When you finish up, Jeff, you better take a look around outside. If things is quiet, come on back and we'll lock up. You better learn now, son. Keep your eyes in the back of your head. I've already learned that, Paul. Take over now. You better get some sleep. I'm not used to much sleep. And you'll get used to it. What happened today, Pa? That was only the beginning. I know that. So does Jeff. Yeah. I want to thank you for the way you raised Jeff, Pa. You did a good job. I only did what I should have done with you. Give him lots of love and, and attention. You had every right to run away when you did, James. Maybe. But, well, I wish things had been different. They are different now. We're together, the three of us. That's what counts. It'll be rough, but as long as we stand together, 
won't take a lot of force to separate us again. Everything's peaceful. Just hope it stays that way. Amen. together at last. Help us now to defend the right. Let vengeance forget the past. <laughs> <laughs> 